what do I do in this situation? Do I let it go? No, I lightning spell them all. I go boom, boom. And the French. Hello everyone, it is Neon Black Game here, back in the YouTube video. And today, just before this video starts, I want to announce that I am still doing the giveaway that I announced in the previous video. Um, if you want to know how to enter into that giveaway, just click in the link in the description down below or visit my previous video. And the way you can enter is you only have to click the link and then subscribe to that link and you're automatically entered into win a $10 iTunes gift card, which translates into two legendary chests, which is over 1,000 gems, which is easily, it's free, it takes literally 20 seconds, so I'd recommend doing it and then come right back to this video. So anyway, today I'm going to do the blind deck challenge. So I've already done a couple. I've lost once but won nine times. I decided to save the last three to put on YouTube because I thought it would be very, very, very fun because it gets more skill. The first nine were pretty easy, except one of them I was stuck against an all-air deck and I had all ground troops. Um, I had like two air defenses. It was, it was horrible. But anyway, let's try to win these last three battles and then I can get my reward. Maybe even get... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this deck. Look at that deck. Um, hopefully we can get a legendary um, from uh, this win here, if I do get a win. Um, come on, perfect. Let's see, what can he do to see if arrows? He doesn't look like he's arrows. No, he's a wizard. No, he's a wizard. Oh, gosh. But that one minion is doing some good work. Um, what do I do in this situation? Do I let it go? No, I lightning spell them all. I go boom, boom. Oh, what profit. Uh, I th what do you think? Was that good or not good? Um, I mean, that Lumberjack alone would have done insane amounts of damage because the skeleton army would have gotten destroyed by that wizard. So I guess that was the right option because I only lost... Mm, I pretty much tied Elixir right there, so that's pretty darn good. Um, this deck is so dirty. I had one deck that was a uh, P.E.K.K.A., a Giant, and an Inferno Dragon, which destroyed because it was all offense, and offense is sometimes the best defense. Um, so I'm going to go... Actually, no, I don't have to put the Inferno Dragon down yet. Um, I'll go here with the Ice Wizard um, to take out all the little Spear Gobs, and then, wow, those are doing some actually of uh, some serious damage. Um, it looks like he's stuck on defense, though, which is also very good for us, but the Lob Hound and the Hog Rider combo might be a really, really good idea. Um, that Ice Wizard should be stall... I mean, that Wizard should stall enough. I'll put this Miner right here to stall him a little bit longer, um, so then my Ice Wizard can take him out. Um, there we go. And now I'm going to go Hog Rider. Ooh, that's not the best decision in the whole world because that Lumberjack is absolutely going to wreck him. One hit from the Hog Rider, two hit from the Hog Rider. Um, I can actually Lightning Spell those for profit, but I can get even more profit if I use the Skeleton Army. Oh, yeah, just keep throwing in some troops there. Besides the Wizard, boom, come back here. That should take every single troop out that's over there. And look at that insane profit I just got from that uh, uh, Skeleton Army. So I took out a Lumberjack, which is four. A knight, which is three, um, plus two for the uh, spear goblins, and uh, three plus four is uh, seven, plus two is nine, and that was only three, so I gained six elixir from that single uh, prophet, or from that single troop right there. So we're gonna go inferno dragon, then we're gonna go miner right there. Then we're going to go with an Ice Wizard right here um, and see if we can take out his Wizard with there. And now I'm going to go Lightning Spell at all because there's so much stuff thrown in there. Boom, boom, and boom, taking out that Wizard. I do not care about that Miner at all right now. And that tower should be going down pretty soon. This deck is very, very, very good. Um, now I'm going to go with the Skeleton Army to surround the Lumber... No, I'm not, ah, no, I'm not going to. Yes, I have to now. Um, right there to just in case because he had the Miner coming in. Now we're going to go with the Lava Hound here. And let's just three crown him and this thing early. Now we're going to go with the Hog Rider um, since everything is being tanked. And now I'm going to have to go with a Miner on top of the Wizard. Come on, get there, get there, get there, get there. Yes, good job, Miner, taking out the Wizard. And that tower should be going down very, very, very quickly. Um, now I'm going to go with a, do I need a lightning spell? I do not need, but oh my gosh, that baby dragon is absolutely destroying my troops. Um, but sadly we do not, um, get the three crown. Maybe we do come on lightning spell for the clutch. Oh yes, for the clutch guys, three crown. There we go. Three to one. Not that hard at all. That deck was insanely dirty right there. Wow. Um, I'll give him thumbs up and a good luck. Let's see. So now I only need to get two more wins. Um, and then I'll be able to get maybe even a legendary card because the re reward is not horrible. I think it's pretty much, um, what a uh, 10, uh, what is it, a normal challenge uh, reward is. Oh, that's also very dirty. The Golem and uh, Goblin Barrel combo is, ooh, that, and the Bowler too. Wow, okay, I'm just going to stick with an aggressive Golem in the beginning, which will pay off because he puts a, giant down, uh, puts a giant down, which means he'll not be able to counter push me very quickly. Um, I think he has a Bowler, maybe. I don't know. I think I played with this giant deck before. No, it's an uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A., very interesting. So we're going to go with a Bowler here. 
to take out that mini pack. Oh, yes. Look at all that profit I'm going to get. And I'm going to go with a, uh, ooh, I wish I had something else here um, to take all that stuff out. Maybe I'll just go with a uh, Goblin Barrel right there. That should be enough. Um, and then I'll go with some Skeletons, just throw it in there so I can take out the Giant a little bit faster. He's forced to log, but very, very, very well played log right there. And we should be able to push all those troops back, take them all out before they get to the tower. And that should be able to tank. Yeah, that bowler is so tanky. It's going to take all the damage and maybe even get one bull off. Um, which should be great. Uh, I am losing, though, by a couple hundred damage, which isn't the end of the world. Come on, bowler. There we go. That one bull does, like, 200 damage, which is just awesome. I'm probably going to go with archers, but never put stuff that can be... Never mind. Archers would have been a bad choice. I do not know why I put his cannon down. Um, really have no clue um, whatsoever why, because that's just going to be a waste of three elixir. We're going to go lure the... Uh, what's that called? The lumberjack over here. Hopefully take him out so the ar one archer will survive. Oh, no, it does not, but that's okay. Well, one does, but the wrong one. Um, he has air, which will be kind of annoying because I don't have any air, really, on this entire deck. We're going to go with a Goblin Barrel right there um, once everything's focused. And then, oh gosh, look at this. He's already got to the tower. He's going to log. I should have... Oh, next time I'm going to put them far back, see what he can do with that. But he's going to have a very serious counter push coming our way very quickly. Oh, yeah, there is the counter push. But the bowler is going to shut it all down. We're going to lure the skeleton. I mean, not the skeleton. Oh, yes, get out of there, fire spirits. What? It missed the fire spirits. Are you kidding me? Come on, one more hit. Come on, one more hit. Come on. Yes, does not get to the tower at all. And look at the bowler's tankiness. I'm actually going to put this in the front of the giant to make it retarget. I should have done that earlier. Um, but come on, take that guy out right there. And then, boom. Now, since he uses his log, he cannot use it on the princess. He's forced to use his cannon. But the princess still gets off some shots. And now in double elixir, this is exactly what I need to. I can build up multiple Teslas if needed. So now I'm going to try out that goblin barrel in the back to see if he falls for it. Um, which will be awesome if it actually works. So now we're going to go lure the mini peck over here. And then we're going to go with the bowler over here. And then we're going to go with another Tesla um, right in the back here like that and then oh no where'd that minion horde come from but i have arrows which is a good profit but come on don't take out my tower come on he logs now i can go here because that one golemite is actually going to do some serious tanking work um i don't want to lose this if possible um but it looks like i might which is kind of sad come on princess let's go get there okay come on good yes okay if that princess stays alive though we're going to be in some pretty good shape um we're going to go lure everything over with the tesla oh my gosh that was so late that was so late wow okay he's gonna log um don't get off a hit good okay we're still fine though if we can get this golem up as fast as we possibly can oh yes those fire spirits are gonna go down um he logged he logged guys remember he logged he just logged we're gonna go here um Come on. Yes, yes, yes. He used fire spirits too. This could be it, guys. This could be it. This could be it. We're going to arrow. We're going to get as much damage as we possibly can. Come on. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be close. This is going to be so close. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we got we got to defend this, though. We have to defend this. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. No. Oh, my goodness. That was so close. But luckily, we still have one more loss to lose. Um. Wow, that was a lot closer than I expected. Who I guess I didn't play as best I could have, but you know what? We still have one more loss, and we still have to get two more wins, but I think that's going to be a good possibility. Oh, no. I didn't even check my deck. That was not good. That was not good at all. Okay, then. What should I do? I really don't know what I have. I'm just going to stick with a Dark Prince just to kind of see what he has. Maybe his minions. Maybe he has a, a witch. Ooh, the witch is on the other side, but he has a bowler, um, which sadly will be able to easily counter my Dark Prince. Um, but I do have the Mega Mini, which is fairly strong, but it's not. It, it got a little bit of a nerf. Oh, should I take that bowler out or not? Um, I think I will have to. So we're going to go lure that mini peck over here. And then we're going to go make the bowler. Yep, that's perfect. We could use guards on it too. But those uh, little skeletons should do a lot of damage. Because look, the bowler is forced to miss. Miss the tower, please. Yes, it missed the tower. So it's only going to get one bull off on the tower. And maybe, maybe, maybe. No, okay, the uh, mega minion does not get any hits. But these um, guards here are going to be fairly good on... Um, Excuse me, on defense right there. Um, so now he's going to put a Hog Rider minions. We're going to go here, and then we're going to do a Mega Minion of our own. He cannot zap those down, which is awesome. And that was pretty much a bad push. And now look at that. that he's at low on Elixir. Oh, I almost got... I thought that Prince was going to make it. Wow, the Prince might still make it, actually. If it has a little bit of health left, come on, get the charge off. It will not, but that Mega Minion will. I know it will get off at least one hit onto the tower. Boom, right there. That's a lot of damage, though. That's around 200 damage. Um, He has the Bowler, so I'm going to start off with the Dark Prince again. I'm just going to try to get his cycle off, throw it off, see what he has. And then I have the Balloon to take him out. But look at that. The 360 Splash will be able to take out that Witch fairly simple or pretty quickly. Um, Come on, take it out. Good hit. One hit. That's not enough for me. Darn it. Mini Pekka's going to go right there. Then we're going to go with a Poison Spell. Maybe that will be enough. And then we're going to go... Oh, that Poison Spell is dirty. 
a uh, thumbs up right there because check out that poison spell absolutely wrecking that bowler right there on the witch oh wow that was a very 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 good poison because if i did not use that i definitely would have taken severe damage from his push so let's see here oh tell me if you guys are enjoying this challenge if you want uh to do this on your own just it obviously it's really easy um but if you want me to do another one tell me in the comments down below um and let's see we should go with the prince here prince mixed with the mega minion boom and boom well now what's he gonna do Let's see, he can't really do anything about it. Come on, let's see what can he do. We're going to go with the Skeletons to get Mega Profit over there. Um, he's forced to use the Bowler, so we're going to go here with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And guess what? Look at that Mega Mini doing serious work to that tower. Um, he's going to put uh, some of those guys, the Minis, over there. I think I should let those guys go, actually. I don't know if that's the best idea. Um, we're going to go here, actually, with the Guards. And then we're going to go here with the Mega Mini because I don't want to take too much damage. Um, that, yeah, we'll get some damage, but not as much as the other tower. Should I counter push that side? I do not know. We're going to go Prince over here, and then we're going to go Mega Mini, and then we're going to go, ooh, what should I do next? I really don't know. Yes, Poison Spell again. Just throw more troops in there. Um, I think that was worth because that Witch could have done some severe damage to the tower. Um, yes, come on, keep throwing in troops there. That Poison Spell is actually pretty good. We're going to go here once the Witch dies, like this, um, and I got to get my Balloon going. So we're going to go here with the counter push. We're going to go there. And then we're going to go with the balloon. Now what's he going to do? Will he have minions to counter it or will they focus on something else? Oh, he is a witch. Am um, I going to go poison spell everything in there if he puts minions? Yes, guys. That's going to be so much profit. Come on, balloon. Oh, the balloon did not get there. But all that poison spell damage is going to add up over time. He's going to log. We're going to go here. No, focus on the tower. That's bad. That's very bad. Come on, take out the hog rider. Oh, no. This could be our last loss, guys. This could be the loss. Oh, my gosh. Just even zap. Please don't. Please. No, he's a log. No, 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 no. I think this will be it, guys. I think we're only going to get 10 wins. That is so sad. I thought we were going to be able to accomplish it. Poison, come on. Get there. Get there. Oh, my gosh. No, the log. We could have won if you didn't have the log. Oh, my goodness. If that balloon got to the tower earlier, it would have gotten two shots off and taken out that tower. Oh, that's our final loss. But let's see. What do we get? Um, Okay, here we go. A 10-win blind deck challenge test. Will it give me a legendary? 1,330 gold. That's not bad. Six ice golems. No, it's going to be even epic, right? Uh, one tornado, though. That's not a bad epic to get. Um, let's see how my cards are looking out right here. Um, anything good in there? Not really. Um, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy, I can upgrade those elite barbs for maybe a new deck once they get buffed. Hopefully, they do. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any questions, please tell me in the comments down below. And also, make sure to check that link in the description to maybe win a $10 iTunes gift card. So, I'll see you all in the next video.